Hey guys, so here's like the highlights video from the Can-Am's first ride at Holopal. Um, I did have it on the 33 inch Aztecs, did awesome. Um, I've also got the little fire that happened on North Beach here and how we put it out. And I saw a 2023 Talon R uh, live valve. I've got a walk around about that. We'll talk about the suspension changes a little bit there. Um, I know I did some videos on that previously. If you guys want longer version, like I have a ton more footage than this. It's on the Patreon page. There's like two other whole videos from this ride. Yeah, guys, so a little fire broke out here. Be careful where you put your grill. Uh, don't put it in the bushes. Stuff's really dry right now. Um, luckily, we have enough people around to put this out, but it really could have been bad and burnt some people's camps down. Oh, we got you. You're good. <laughs> I will document this in the name of science. This is probably the first R-Max I've ever seen snorkeled properly. It's got three three-inch pipes just for the belt and then two two-inch pipes for the intake. Uh, Rich did a really good job on it. It made it all the way down the canal. And at the end of the video, you'll see how much water was in the airbox. Jumping. Oh, we got a gator up here. Let's get him. There he is. Pretty good size one. So I've had a quad in a while and I was really enjoying the water wheelies and getting the balance point down. And then I decided to start doing reverse water wheelies right here. There it is. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So the whole pod was completely under there, both snorkels. Um, had a little bit of water in the air box and the belt box, but really not enough to hurt anything. Um, the shielding is designed really well. That being said, I do want to raise the snorkels up so I can mess around and do stuff like that. Four wheel drive. Nah. This was high range water release. Any other Can-Am other than an XMR 1000 with the 6x6 transmission, you'd have been smelling the belt right here. These new clutches and the new gearing is excellent. So this spot right here is kind of new to me. This is just south of Drunk Tree. You might recognize the trail on the left. Uh, if you want to try this, proceed at your own risk. It's really nasty. Now that is a very soft bottom here, but this thing has the gears to creep them. Go ahead and lock the front diff. Front diff locked. Look at that. Yeah, if you just floored it right here, you would just sink. You really gotta creep it. And so happens when you find a spot no one's been through in a very long time. How long do you keep it going? Yeah. It, it, you see the wheelbase. Yeah, yeah. Short. it's shortened and it, it cuts sharper for sure. So my first time seeing one of these in person, this is a 2023 Talon R. You can see that the axle in the front isn't raked forward anymore. It comes straight out, kind of like a Talon X, but it is wider. Um, but this guy's running 33s on here with pretty wide offset with no rubbing. So it's awesome. You can still run 33s on this machine stock. 
And as you just saw, turning radius is much better than the old Talon R. Um, and yeah, those are 20s, and those are pretty wide offset wheel. In the rear, the suspension looks pretty similar as far as the rake. I think most of the rake that they got rid of was from the front. You see this axle still raked back, but the arms are different. The bracing is different. Um, the angles are a little different. So Honda really did tweak everything. Uh, but this is a live valve. I haven't seen the non-live valve yet. I'm not sure Honda sold any non-live valves with the new shorter wheelbase. Um, the power steering rack is definitely different too. This thing cuts the wheel a lot farther. So these clips I just threw in here, but I've got a bunch more trail riding videos of this new platform uh, up on the Patreon page. Those tend to be longer videos, so I don't really even bother posting them on YouTube because they don't get very many views. So if you're into that stuff, check out the Patreon page. We've got a whole you know, discussion on the suspension on this new machine, and it's a really good trail bike though.